I'm Deborah Greco. I'm a senior research scientist with Nestle Purina Pet Care. I've been studying cats for 20 years. I've done a lot of research in that area, particularly in the area of diabetes. That led me to an interest in hydration in cats. I began to wonder why cats were not maintaining hydration for themselves. When cats drink, they bring up the water from the bowl with their tongue, and they actually form a column of water, which they bite off. They're not getting a lot of water all at once. So for example, in one little column of water, they're getting three one hundredths of a teaspoon. So why is hydration important in the cat? It's important for all brain activity, for kidneys, for blood pressure. All of these things are important with regard to hydration in the cat. My name is Dr. Jessica Quimby. I'm an associate professor at The Ohio State University. I'm an internal medicine specialist, but my area of research is feline nephrology. I really wanted to be able to investigate further therapeutic options for cats with chronic kidney disease because we need to understand more and we need to do more. Hydration is particularly important because when you have chronic kidney disease, you can no longer hydrate yourself or rehydrate yourself once you become dehydrated. So currently the options that we have for helping with hydration in the chronic kidney disease cat would include changing to wet food. We do have the option of doing subcutaneous fluids and some owners can be very good at giving those at home, but it can also be something that is just not tolerable for the owner or for the cat and it becomes a quality of life issue. I think that there is always room for improvement. We need better options, something that will help us out pathophysiologically, what's going to be easy for the owner to do, and what will have a good outcome. So that would be my, my ideal package. My name is Dr. Jody Westrup. I'm a professor at the University of California Davis School of Veterinary Medicine. My interest lies in lower urinary tract disorders, and I've always loved working with cats. The correlation between hydration and urinary disease when looking at the lower urinary tract, I think there's two different diseases I think of, feline idiopathic cystitis and urolithiasis, and they're very different pathophysiology of these diseases. But the common ground is that hydration may help prevent recurrence of both of them. Current options for clients to improve hydration, you have to get creative. Maybe it's making the bowl a different shape. Some cats don't like, say, their whiskers or their vibrissae to touch the outside of the bowl. Circulating water, water fountain. I have some client, they leave their faucet dripping because the cat loves it. So having choices and options that are tailored appropriately to your client and your patient are really important. As it turns out, Purina was very willing to investigate this problem in cats and give us some more options in terms of allowing cats to hydrate themselves. My name is Brian Zangi. I am a senior research nutritionist with Nestle Purina. So my role in the project that led to the development of HydroCare actually goes back to when we were coming up with ideas to try to fill a need for cats and their hydration needs, their water intake needs. So at the beginning of the research project, we had a control group and a test group. The test group was provided a nutrient-enriched water in addition to their tap water and their dry food. And that differed from the control group, which simply stayed on their dry food and tap water. They were monitored for two weeks. So the nutrient-enriched water provided essentially 28% greater total liquid intake. And this represents a combination of both their tap water consumption and their nutrient-enriched water consumption. Both urine-specific gravity and urine osmolality were lower, indicating that there was a significant improvement in those hydration parameters of the test water cats. With HydroCare, we wanted to have the flavor, but we also wanted to have the nutritional benefits to provide an enhancement above just flavor alone. We wanted to hydrate the cat at the cellular level, and the way we wanted to do that was through these osmolites, amino acids, glycerin, that bring that water into the cell to help the cell absorb water and stay hydrated. It felt like with this water supplement that we really had something significant because not only did we see the cats enjoying it, but we knew that there was a real nutritional benefit to the cat. I'm really hopeful with where science is going. 
we have definitely made strides therapeutically. We continue to look for new ways to improve the lives of our cats. HydroCare could potentially benefit so many cats around the world. That's really, really exciting.